From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2022 for April 6, 2022. In this recording, we'll go over the breaking news about the Build Back Better Act, but we'll start with those incredible checks that have now landed. A $6,500 check went live and has landed in people's hands. March 31st, 2022, it became a law. A $15,000 to $80,000 check became law March 4th. And an MSC check, wow, became a law last year. I'm going to go over those big checks across the land. But first, we start with the Build Back Better Act. And the President of the United States is set to renew the negotiations to get it done in the next 30 days. I have the latest details in today's recording. Then we go with the breaking details as Leo Brannard's comments about Fed tightening could signal confusion across the board with that SS300. Is it good news or bad news? I have the latest economic breaking news today for April 6, 2022 and why the economy is not as robust as many analysts think it is. Then we'll be turning to the developing details about that six stimulus, the biggest stimulus package you've seen of a generation. That is to battle recession, but are we already in recession? All the latest details in today's recording. Next stop is seven stimulus. Student loan debt forgiveness less than 30 days away. Will the president forgive the student loan debt or will he not? I have the analyst analysis and everything you need to know in today's recording. Then we turn back to the big money in hand. Build Back Better Act and those checks, lots of checks, that viewers are getting every day from this channel. How do you get them as well? You become a member and you tune in tonight for Evenings LA. In this preview of tonight's Evenings LA for broadcast for April 6, 2022, we have a lot going over, a lot happening, and a major developing details on economics today. But in today's afternoon's broadcast, we get a preview of that major broadcast tonight. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, a lot of money, a lot of breaking news, and a lot of possibilities for your wallet. It's all right now, it's all right here, and it's Afternoons LA for April 6th. everybody hope you're having a good day and hope you aren't feeling the heat i'm not referring to that heat wave coming to southern california i'm feeling the heat about the economic data that came in today i have a lot of that data it's good for ss300 it's good for build back better act but it's bad for the u.s economy what is this economic data it's coming up in today's recording but of course we're going to go over those big checks have you gotten all of them have you gotten one of them stay with me if you haven't become a member become a member right today and get these big checks covered in this recording they're coming up later in this recording to become a member the links at the top of the chat and the pinned comment but first we're going to start with the build back better act then we're going to go to ss 300 then we'll go over the breaking news that impacts both of those monies and then we'll be turning to six stimulus also seven stimulus and of course those big checks let's go over the breaking news today on where build back better is it's currently in the senate passed in the house and has a lot of checks in there those incredible checks in there pay you an enormous sum of money upwards of 15 to eighty thousand dollars of checks how do you get those checks they're featured in detail tonight in evenings la you don't want to miss that show it's a five o'clock pacific standard time the most watched show for financial news in prime time but let's go over broadly those three classes of checks and three add-ons and we have a surprise Cluster number one, has to pay one more year for my earned income tax credit, essential workers. Good for you. $3,600 checks for the young children. Then $4,000 of elder care checks. Good for you. $4,000 of care for young children. Oh, yes. $550 check for the college students. Great. And then the big $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle plus money to repair your home. Incredible. But that first add-on of checks, even better. A little bit less than $25,000 is in there. For the purchase of your first home, this is money that will be given to the seller in your name by the federal government at the time of escrow. Huge. Absolutely huge. Got in there via Maxine Waters. How do you get these big checks? Tune in tonight on Evening's Allied. I'll go over each of these checks in detail. 
Now, when we turn to that second clause of checks, we have a big surprise. Paid leave, which is a lot of money if you have to stay home from work due to sickness or illness, is four to $6,000 a year. But that home repairs to weatherize your home was to be in cluster number two. And then surprise, surprise, the President of the United States took it out and made it law. Whoa, yes, that is check A of the A, B, and C checks that are coming up late in this video, and viewers have gotten these checks. This is the first check it was in Build Back Better Bill that is still in the Senate, not law yet, and Joe Biden took it out. He made it law by executive branch authority. Oh, my goodness. A $6,500 check became law on March 31st by the President of the United States. He also had taken out a fifteen dollars to $80,000 check on March 4th from Bill Back. That is also law. Viewers have gotten these checks. And then the C check is $24,000, an MSC check. Wow. We're going to go over all these incredible checks in just a second. But let's go back to where we were on that second cluster. That was the second cluster of checks with that Big paid leave. Now let's look at the second add-on of checks to the Build Back Better bill currently in the Senate. The second add-on of checks is a little bit less than $250 billion for free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. Incredible. Got it in there via Bob Casey. Now let's go to the third cluster of checks. Free internet for all checks, farmers checks, independent contractors checks, and seniors. Seniors gain lots of checks in this Build Back Better. Dental vision, hearing, checks, lowering the eligibility age of Medicare, also the Medicaid gap fix, and then even more checks across the board, which is part of the course when we're talking about adding checks to the Build Back Better Act, the other checks that they represent they would add in there, of course, are MSCs, monthly IRS stimulus check. This is Build Back Better Bill. Now, Build Back Better Bill, currently in the Senate, the senators represent they're going to put in a monthly IRS stimulus check. Single individual, $75,000 less, you get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, you get it. Family of four, you get it as well. Quadruple it. So says the legislators to viewers of this channel. And then how many months? Six months, $2,000 a month, $2,000 a first month, $1,000 thereafter. And there you go. That is Build Back Better Bill. But the great news today, folks is that you don't have to wait for Build Back Better to give you an MSC check, because there is one already. It's C, and it's on this list. The great news today is that A, B, and C have been taken out, extracted from Build Back Better Act by the President of the United States, and became a law by executive authority. First, a $6,500 check became law on March 31st. Second, a $15,000 to $80,000 check became law on March 4th. Third, a $24,000 MSC check started paid out on January 2021. How do you get each of these checks? Stay with me. They're coming up later in this video. But first, let's continue with SS300, and then we're going to go back to Build Back Better Act and the breaking economic data today. Joe Biden, when he ran for President of the United States, and then after he was elected, represented at JoeBiden.com that he's going to swap out COLA for inflation. If you swap out COLA for inflation right now, you lock in 8%, the highest inflation of a generation in December and January, as I predicted. Where is it now in February and March? My predictions are it's about the same, if not tracking a little bit hotter. And that's good if Joe Biden made that swap right today. You'd lock in $200 more per month, not just this month, not just this year, a lifetime. But inflation's not going to stay high indefinitely because a certain person has to bring it down. And that person is Jay Powell. Jay Powell has been tasked with bringing down inflation. How does he bring down inflation? By raising interest rates. Now, I had given you a lot of guidance on where Jay Powell was, where Jay Powell is, and where Jay Powell may go. I had also told you that one of his governors, Brainard, was speaking today. And that comments, I expected to say something along the lines of, we need to be more aggressive. Well, guess what happened? That's exactly what Brainard said today. And Wall Street took shock to it. Why? <laughs> Weren't you not watching this channel yesterday, Wall Street? I said this is what Brainard was going to say. And then let's go over the latest details on where we are right now in this Fed watch. Inflation is too high at 8%, if it not, it's tracking even higher today. And as the 10-year Treasury note continues to surge, bond traders are trading up notes because they think it's actually higher. Jay Powell had said in February, we're doing a quarter basis point in 
March, raising interest rates a quarter basis point, and staying there indefinitely if it works. He wasn't even out of the door of the meeting until a week later he said, I don't think it may have worked. We're going to do a half basis point. Then over the weekend and last week and early this week, I said Wall Street analysts and myself collectively agree that Jay Powell would do two half basis point increases in the next two FMC meetings. Ouch. That's very aggressive. Because if that's the case, that means that Jay will get down your inflation to maybe 5%. And that means not SS200, SS150. Folks, you need to have Joe make that swap for colon inflation right today. Make that swap call, Joe, to call up the hand of SS, uh, Social Security to swap out COLA for S2 for inflation right today before this guy. j Powell reduces inflation too aggressively. Then the other concern was later this year, because why? j Powell initially said that he wanted to get inflation down to 4% later this year. He said that. 30 days ago. Now he's saying 1.9%. Ouch. That's not another $100 later this year. That's $10 extra. So Joe made that swap for colon to inflation right today. Now, I had told you since last Sunday that there's a series of economic data that's swirling around and the economic data is weak. Let me go over what had happened. Let me tell you what's happening today. I had told you that economic data that was coming in showed the economy may be weaker than analysts are expecting. And if it's weaker, then what happens when you have projections on economic data, you have a miss. A miss is something like we're expecting 10% growth rate and it only comes in at 8%. It's a miss. A, a beat is when you're expecting 10% growth rate, it comes in at 20%. Big beat on that example. So what is the breaking details today? Oh boy, folks. There is an enormous amount of breaking news, and I got to tell you, it's all good for Build Back Better, it's all good for SS300, but it's bad for the economy. It basically says the economy is struggling subtly, and that struggling is good for Build Back Better, because remember, they do stimulus packages when you need help and when the economy is weaker, and then it's good for SS300 because the economy is struggling and starting to... Starting to uh, back up, starting to uh, misfire, then j Powell may not come in as aggressively. That's good for your SS300. So let's go over the breaking news today, folks. There is a lot of it. Let's go over each of the elements at issue. Number one at issue is that the situation is very fluid and Brainard, Leo Brainard, governor, said that the U.S. economy needs to have a more aggressive approach to fighting inflation. So Brainard calling for a higher and more aggressive policy by j Powell. Inflation is much too high and it's subject to upside risk, says Brainard, and said that we need to rapidly get down the balance sheet at the Fed to drive down inflation. This is as bank economists said a note to, to um, at Deutsche Bank today, then guess what? LA is right. <laughs> <laughs> Deutsche Bank was watching LA. I think so. I don't know. But over the last week, I said, well, no, what am I saying? The last month, I've been saying we're in recession and we're heading completely into recession. What did Deutsche Bank say today for April 5th, 2022? It became the first U.S. major Wall Street bank to announce that we're going in recession. Uh, and they also said, LA, thank you for that insight over the last month before us. <clears throat> the U.S. economy is expected to take a major hit from the extra Fed tightening by late, early 2024. And we see two negative quarters of growth and more than 1.5% rise in unemployment rates to developing clearly recession, a bit a moderate one. So the takeaway is that they're saying uh, recession 2024, and they're saying unemployment going up, and they say that two negative quarters of growth. Um, I, I agree with them on the on the growth. I think the growth will stall, and I do believe that the unemployment rate will actually surge higher than that. But I don't think it's going to take to 2024. I think the recession is here now, and it'll be more pronounced by the end of the year, and certainly evident by 2023. That was the first breaking news that came in. Um, and the second news that came in right after that, because I'm telling you, it was a day where all the misses were misfiring. The latest details that can continue to come in were, of course, the mortgage rates were absolutely out of control. The 30-year mortgage rate crossed 5% to 5.02% today. This is the first time since 2011. You remember what 2011 was? Yeah, the end of recession. 2011 was not a good economic year, folks. So we were at a 3.38% mortgage rate a year ago. Now we're at 5.02%. This is why the housing industry is, in my opinion, in recession. I'll have more about that now as latest in this video. This is as the four months of consecutive housing starts declined. 
And now that mortgage rates continue to surge and housing costs continue to grow. That was the second number that came in today. <laughs> I told you it's a really bad day for economic data, but a good day for you and your economy. The data continued to come across the board as um, Wall Street saw Mike Wilson and Morgan Stanley and anticipate, give a prediction, that he predicts that the S&P, Wall Street, will decline at least 13% between now and September. Oh my goodness, 13% between now and December? I think he's right. I think the whole year is going to be a down year. I do have all the hallmarks of what I think will be a bear market rally. Things are oversold. And this comes as Wall Street was down 2% on Monday and continue to struggle across the board. We don't think there's a recession just yet, but there will be one likely next year, says Wilson. We're doubling down on defenses. The continuing bad data came one after another today. We weren't there done there yet. Then we had the 10-year Treasury yield surging to 2.469%. And this yield is absolutely out of control as the yields became more inversely negative, And that inversion of those yields signal we're going to recession. Wow. What does this mean for you and your benefits first? It means that Build Back Better Act has more encouragement to get past. Because if the economic data is weaker, then what happens? If the economic data is weaker, then you need more money. And the leaders of the Congress are more likely to give it to you, number one. Number two, SS300 has more encouragement then because if the situation is very fluid and the economy is misfiring, then the Federal Reserve will be off base, not to say they won't do off at base, but they'll be off base to come in too aggressively on those inflationary interest rate growth numbers. They should not do two half basis point increases in the next two meetings. I'll have more about that later in this video. But first, we're going to the incredible new checks. They are huge, and this is what this channel does, and this is what you do. In view of a looming recession for two years, in, lo loom, in view of misfiring economic data, you need checks. And I got checks for you. I got not one, I got not two, but I got three checks for you. And those checks are a $6,500 check, 331 Let's go over that check. That check is forced to almost taken out by Joe Biden on March 31st. It is law. I'm going to show you in the second half of this video how to get that big check. Then a fifteen dollars to $80,000 check, also law, but it's been law now for upwards of five weeks. It's heading into six weeks. I'm going to show you how to get it like other viewers have as well. The third check is an MSC. It's a third stimulus MSC check, and it pays more than the fourth stimulus MSC check. It's huge. More than $24,000, but at the moment, $2,000 a month over 12 months. Some viewers have gotten the last few days. How to get these big checks? You become a member. The newsletter is at the top of the chat, and in, excuse me, become a member. The link to become a member is at the top of the chat or in the description of the video. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Then get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday. Delivered via the YouTube alert system. The newsletter has all the details about how to get those checks. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over those big checks. We're going to go over more about this economic data and how it impacts your wallet. We'll be looking at that student loan debt for giving us seven stimulus. We'll be looking at fifth stimulus for that SSI reform. We'll be looking at six stimulus, which is the battle recession. We have a big second half. We are just getting started. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, big money, big checks, big breaking news. It's a big afternoon, and we're just getting started. But first, here's a little bit about the members' community page. I'll see you back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily.
and then afternoons LA late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Light. And the excitement continues. Big second half for April 5th, 2022. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, the great news is that three major checks have now landed and they're huge sums of money. And you qualify for them and you're going to be shown how to get them right now a b and c they're coming up in the second half of this video and then we'll be looking at six stimulus the latest details on that front then we'll be looking at student loan debt forgiveness seven stimulus and then next to fifth stimulus for my beneficiaries plus we'll teach back to what happened with build back better act i have new details on that front and say the final five minutes of this video because i have a big insight and a big commentary about these checks it's a huge afternoons and let's get to the three checks here's what you need to know is that three checks are now law they are now paying out they have now been received by viewers and when it says landing it means literally landing in their bank accounts What's important to understand is you need to get that pen and paper ready and get ready to take notes starting right now. This is the part of the recording where I go over the checks and I explain how to get them. First, let's go over each of them in summary, then we'll go over them in detail. A $6,500 check became a law March 31st, 2022 by executive order of the Joe Biden. This is called the Home Weatherizing Grant Check. Days earlier, on March 4th, a B check, fifteen dollars to $80,000, became a law. This is the Homeowner's Grant Check. And then in early 2021, an MSC check became a law under third stimulus. This is averaging anywhere from $2,000 a month for 12 months upwards of $160,000 or more. So let's go over each of those checks one at a time. Get your pen and paper ready. We're going to start with check A. Check A, $6,500. Well, in some states, they're actually paying more. Yes, they're actually paying upwards of $12,000. What is this check? It's a four stimulus check. It is a law by executive action of Joe Biden. What is it called? It's called the Homeowner's Weatherizing Grant Check. We saw it earlier in this video. So if you're worried about the definition of home, don't worry about it, whether mobile home or not mobile home. And if you're worried about the term weatherizing, don't be worried about that either, because weatherizing means things in different states. There's no tornadoes in Southern California, and there's no surf watch in, uh, you know, Kansas. <laughs> so don't worry about the definitions. Just get that application on file. All right, let's go over everything else you need to know about this first check. First, who gets this check? How are you eligible for it? The income qualification is the same as a third single check. check. That makes it easy. Single individual, $75,000 less, you can get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, annual income, you can get it. If you're on benefits like Social Security or Veterans Benefits, you can get it. The final eligibility is that you own your own home. Wow. So, how do you get this check? You want to become a member. Go to the top of the chat or under the pins comment and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Then, open that membership newsletter that comes Monday through Friday. Open that membership newsletter to deliver the YouTube alert system and go right under there. The first few lines are the oil, wheat, grain prices today and the next line is the $6,500 homeowners weatherizing grant check you'll learn a little bit more about the eligibility and then there'll be a link the link will send you into the national website to which the you then select your state and then you select the home weatherizing grant check for example there'll be the Alabama weatherizing grant check or the Louisiana Al Louisiana weatherizing grant check there's not enough there's enough money they're not running out of money those are the income qualifications their law you want to get them and viewers have gotten their applications in wow i have more about these checks later in this video stay with me that's coming up later let's turn to check number b that was a b looks like a in many regards but in many ways it's different let's go over to check b first it's more money 15 to eighty thousand dollars what is this? this is called the homeowner's grant check not the homeowner's weatherizing grant check but just the homeowner's grant check the complete name is featured in the membership newsletter it became law on march 4th viewers are averaging about 66 to eighty thousand dollars first this is a fourth stimulus check second it's law joe biden made a law and then third you have the same income qualification as a third single check. Single individual, $75,000 less, you can get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, you can get it. And if you're on benefits like Social Security or veterans benefits, you can get it as well. So how do you get this check? 
same way as A. You become a member. Then open the membership newsletter Monday through Friday and go down under the A check and you'll see the B check, which you'll recognize by this price point, fifteen to $80,000. It'll go over more about what the money is for. Great stuff like home repairs. Oh, yes. And other items and other things you need to know about eligibility. Then it'll have the link. You'll click the link, which will send you into the national website. Then you'll see a map. You click your respective state like Tennessee. And it'll go into the Tennessee website. You apply. You don't wait. Why? This has been a law for five weeks. Every day that passes, thousands of people get an application in, in your state in front of you. Eventually, every state will run out of money. So you don't want to wait around to become a member. You don't want to wait around to get your application in. And there you go. A, B, and now C. Now, if you're a renter, get ready, because C is for you. A and B are for homeowners, and homeowners can also, yes, get C, but C is for renters. Let's recap that again. A, B, and C are for homeowners, and C is for renters and homeowners. So let's go over all the incredible details right now. What is C? It is an MSC check. It is a monthly symbol check, not sent out by IRS, but a check that you can get that pays on an average a monthly basis. It became law in early 2021, and the difference from four stimulus is huge because four stimulus is only $7,000 is what they represent. Over six checks, this is averaging about $24,000 over 12 checks in recent days. And before that, the same viewers got $45,000 to $150,000 for these checks. It's also different than A and B because unlike A and B where you go to website to click and get the money, C, you make a phone call. So get ready to make the phone calls. Where do you make the phone calls? Let's go over all the details right now. You're going to make a series of phone calls and they are great because those checks are available. So let's go over who you make the phone calls to, what you say, and how you do it. The latest details are the following. You're going to reach out to six places. They are your city hall, your city housing authority, your county hall, and your county house authority. Also, your state hall and your state house authority. And the key words you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID, you mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. Those are the key words you say. You don't say MSC or anything else. Next, you want to push and get those big items. You want to reach out to all six places. And if you're a member, boy, the members have even more places in the newsletter. They have the nonprofits, a half dozen of them. So the members will have about a dozen places to reach out to. Non-members have those six places. Put multiple applications in file and then do as many months as you can. Next, open that membership newsletter for more because guess what? Members have the nonprofits and those nonprofits are incredible. Those nonprofits pick up for sums where the states may have limited funds and they also do big home repairs as well. Do these big sums of money. Get them right today. The average view of this channel is getting about $45,000. Do not wait. These big sums of money are available today. You don't want to wait. You want to pounce as a purple hawk. Get the big sums of money today, averaging about $45,000, and do it right now. There you go. That is those three checks, A, B, and C. Let's recap. The $6,500 check for homeowners, $15,000, $80,000 check for homeowners, and an MSC check for both homeowners and renters where do you get the details of this again you want to become a member the link is at the top of the chat in the pin comment become a purple hawk purple power or calcino vip next watch for that newsletter delivered monday through friday one time 7 p.m pacific standard time which is 10 o'clock eastern or 9 central how is it delivered it's delivered via the youtube alerts not by email, not by waivable check, by YouTube alerts. So when you get that 7 p.m., click it and you go right into that newsletter and get those big sums of money today as well. The newsletter also features everything you need to know about what's happening with Build Back Better Bill, six, Fifth Stimulus, Sixth Stimulus, and Seventh. What is going on with Fifth Stimulus right today? Well, they have not teed it up for a bill yet, and that is why that SS300 is so important. But something that is teed up is seven stimulus. That is student loan debt forgiveness with a May 2nd deadline set by the President of the United States. Why? Because student loan repayments are frozen till May 2nd, and then you got to start paying. When COVID started, the White House put the repayment of student loan debts on frozen mode or moratorium. Well, that frozen mode ends May 2nd. But the president's chief of staff, Anthony Bl uh, Ron Klain, said, we're going to make a determination, or at least the president's going to make a determination about student loan debt by May 2nd. What are the three options the president has? One, 
May 2nd comes along. He says, I'm not going to help anyone. Uh, pay me some debts back. <laughs> Do I think that's going to happen? No. That option, I think it's gone. Number two. The President of the United States says, I have a lot to do with other things going on. So I need a little bit more time to think about this. So your debts are not due. I'm going to extend the moratorium, and we'll check back in a few weeks on my issue of forgiving debt. I think that's possible. Then the third one I also think is possible. You know what? I've looked at the situation. I think it's right. I think I can forgive student loan debt. Here we go. Why do I think the third one is likely to happen? Because the president under the Obama-Biden administration had an edu education secretary, and that education secretary specifically name-checked Joe in the last few days. Said so Joe knows that we, he can forgive it. We made this law under Barack's time, and Joe knowed, knew then as VP and knows today as Prez that he can forgive student loan debt. So just go do it. Moreover, who's going to unravel it? Republicans? They don't have enough senatorial votes to unravel it. So that is why Joe Biden, I think, will do the third option. That is seven stimulus. Now, let's go over everything else that's unfolding right today. First, Build Back Better Bill. We have new comments from uh, Joe Manchin in the last seven days that he wants to get it done. That's good. Then we had the President of the United States address the American people last week about oil, saying we need to pass Build Back Better. That's also good. We also have a lot of new indications today. I don't have the quotes for you, but insiders believe the president's reworking Build Back Better bill to get done in the next 30 days. Wow. Then we have that SS300. Very fascinating because you want that swap to happen right now. Every day gets a little bit more antsy. Been with me for the last month. Every single day we have a faster move by the Fed than the day before. We started early March quarter basis point. Then we had the FOMC meeting. Then we had a change on the December number, more aggressive. Then days pass and two governors said more aggressive. Lynn J. Powell said more aggressive. Today we have Brainard saying, Brainard saying more aggressive. Folks, it's getting really aggressive. So that is why you want that SS300 to come on in right today. I got more checks with you and more analysis coming up later in this video, but let's turn to the big payout of checks, which is that six stimulus. Six stimulus is likely the big, big, big stimulus package of a generation. Why? Because the U.S. economy is heading to recession or is in recession. And this six stimulus is unlike anything you've seen before. First stimulus was the biggest of our generation, but before that, the other biggest stimulus package was day one Obama-Biden to bail out the housing industry and the banking industry at the end of the George Bush Jr. tenure. This is to deal with the inflationary, recessionary, and supply chain issues caused by, yeah, that guy, Vladimir Putin. And this started several weeks ago, in fact, week one of the Putin invasion of Ukraine. How did it start? Your Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, reached out to France and Germany saying, get off of Russian products. And they said, we can't. We're too dependent upon them. Germany usually does not subscribe to our economic policy, so that was not a surprise. But then Blinken pushed back more and said, you must morally get off those products. And they agreed. Germany, with its chancellor, France, with Macron, its leader, going up for re-election in April, and the United States, three progressives. So we have this on point for, for April, this trifecta, looking to see whether Macron is re-elected in France. And then, the strange twist. Last week, Germany said, you know what, uh, we're not getting off of Russian oil, excuse me? Yeah, so that signaled a twist and turn that we did not see coming. So where's my opinion of the situation today on the status of six stimulus? I think it's being done on a national level in the United States, but maybe not on an international level. The idea was the alliance of those three countries to debt spend, then to provide stimulus to assistance because they cannot afford, no one could afford, $4 at the gasoline at the pump indefinitely, and no one could afford a $7 loaf of bread indefinitely. So where are we domestically in the United States right now with six stimulus? Well, there's several issues the president needs to address. And has he addressed them? We're going to go over oil. We're going to go over wheat. We're going to go over Vladimir Putin and that potential default on that principal repayment. And we're going to go over everything you need to know on this big sums of money. First item up is, of course, that oil. The president of the United States needs to get the price of oil down domestically and internationally because the way gasoline works is the following. If you've got 50 countries... And there's a 50-country shortage of gasoline. One country can't say, oh, we got more for ourselves, because that doesn't solve anything. All the countries need to have cheap, more oil, because the way price of oil works is how much is available internationally. 
The President of the United States last Friday says, I'm releasing a million barrels of gasoline from the U.S. strategic reserves per day for the next six months. This is gasoline the U.S. government owns, releasing one million barrels per day. He says it's going to bring down the price of gasoline domestically. My opinion? Uh-uh. Wrong. That's not how it works. We all know it's not how it works. You have to have oil released internationally because the price of gasoline is an international price point. So if 50 countries still have a shortage of gasoline and only one country has more gasoline, it doesn't solve the equation. Now, the president may have known that because he then said seconds later, we're going to have the alliance of the Western allies release some of their strategic reserves as well. True? No, false again. The strategic alliances don't have oil stockpiled. Look at Italy. How much oil do they have in the ground? They have none. They maybe have some olive oil, but they don't have petroleum oil. Number two, other countries like Germany that gets most of their oil from Russia, do you think they have a lot of strategic reserves of sitting around? They do not. So this was a misnomer by the president that releasing strategic reserves will do anything. More troubling was that the president did have a solution and it was not addressed. Why was the solution not addressed? In fact, it's not a solution. It's, it's a, an agreement, we thought. A week ago, I had been reporting to you that there's a Iranian-U.S. deal on oil that bring it to a lowest price point of a generation. 1.5 million barrels of gasoline coming from Iran into U.S. and international shores per day, bringing our price point to the lowest price point of a generation, 15 years. Wow. Uh, well, the, then the president addressed the American people last Friday. Didn't mention it. Made me skittish. I had to go high and low to find out what happened to that deal, and I found it buried in an international newspaper. I'll have it tonight on ABC Late in Prime Time at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Why that deal didn't happen. The latest is that the deal did not get to the finish line, is still there, and may never get to the finish line. Oh, boy. That is why you need six stimulus. Meantime, you also need six stimulus because the wheat and grain prices has not been analyzed by the White House. The White House tasked Janet Yellen's office of Treasury in October last year when I, yours truly, was saying there's 100,000 Russian troops at the Ukrainian border. It's Halloween 2021. If they, invade, if they invade Ukraine, that's going to be the biggest economic story of 2022. Well, I was not the only one who said that. So did Joe Biden to Jan Yellen. He told her to analyze the situation for oil. He did not analyze the situation for wheat. The situation for wheat is going out of control because the price of wheat is surging to the highest levels of a generation. And no one among the domestic partners or the Western allies has a solution. No one has ramping up a wheat now in shortage because of Vladimir Putin. And we're not done there yet. What else is causing the trouble? The next thing causing big trouble is corporate earnings are about to be announced. And when those corporate earnings start coming in in the next 24 hours, guess what I'm predicting? I'm predicting U.S. banks to say, we have some Russian debt. We own some Russian equities. And we are worried that those positions are going to be valueless. So we're giving guidance on a potential earnings report next quarter where those line items are zero. Ouch. If there's zero, that means major downturn for those U.S. banks and potential default of certain elements of the U.S. banking industry. Which is part of the course we're talking about where the economy is right now because I believe and I've been saying for over a month that the U.S. economy is already in recession. Recession starts different ways. It starts by industries. It starts by geographies. In my opinion, the U.S. economy's housing industry and also its auto industry are in recession. And that other industries will surge into recession progressively until we're in a complete recession by 2023. You saw the latest comments early in this video that Deutsche Bank today became the first U.S. bank to say we're going to recession. Their analysis is a little bit different than mine. They said 2024. I think it will be 2023. I think the East Coast will go in first. And then the West Coast will fall thereafter. I think it will be a two-year recession. It may not be a very bad recession. But I got to tell you, folks, there's a lot of data out there that really worries me. And it's the housing market bubble, which I've been featuring on this channel for recent days. A new data came out today about the housing market in New York shows an insane bubble. An insane bubble. And the housing market in New York, what was the data? That an average four-bedroom apartment in New York, average, you heard me right, is selling for $6 million. It's incredible. The average price of a Manhattan market surged 19% in one year to now $2 million. That the total volume sales went up to $7.3 billion. And that um, the surge of, of sales in the last year is astronomical. 
Meantime, that uh, first quarter showed the highest number of sales in a very long time. I think it's a big bubble about to happen. Why? Because one of the quotes in the article said, are people worried about mortgage rates? No, they're paying cash. That doesn't work indefinitely, folks. People don't indefinitely have cash sitting around to pay for $6 million for, for room apartments in New York. They don't indefinitely have cash sitting around. They may have cash built up now because of the pandemic. They won't have cash built up later this year, especially if inflation continues to ravage this economy. Finally, my analysis tonight with big details on these checks and BT details of what you need to know. First thing, I'm going to give you a little bit of commentary, and I'm also going to give you a little bit of science insight. The way this channel works is then is that when checks become law and you can get these checks, I immediately feature it for viewers of this channel. And the viewers of the channel know that there's no one better for finding checks than me for you. When that check becomes available, then I invoke the expression of this channel, which I created in 2021, the expression, which is Purple Hawk Pounce. Purple Hawk Pounce means as soon as something becomes law for money, you pounce and get it. You pounce if you qualify for it, you pounce across the board. Now, in the last 24 hours, and I'm going to say just a few, just a few people have said, when I put up the graphic of these three checks, when is that other check coming out? <laughs> Excuse me? Now, I know for a fact that you don't have all three checks in your hand because I just started featuring all three checks on this channel in the last few days. Now, this has been, if this had been two months into the story and that you had gotten all three checks, that would be great. You're ready for the fourth check. But the fact that I'm showing you three checks that, that are available right now and you're merely focusing on something that's not available deeply worries me. Worries me for many regards. First, these are law. These are checks. These are available right now. Number two, you're looking at something in the trajectory out there. Number three, that's not how financial independence starts. Financial independence starts with getting cash that's available right now, as much of it. Not waiting around for something you like better at a later time that may be one week, one month, one year, five years. <laughs> no one knows, as we always say. What's important to understand is that well, I always use that example of Johnny. Johnny had gotten three programs approved in three days, amounting to $45,000 from this channel, rent and utilities and things like that. But he said, he heard me very loud and clear, do not stop. If you can get other monies, keep on getting monies. He did not stop at $45,000. A lot of people would be happy with $45,000 in their pocket today after three days of watching this channel. He, by the end of the week, got $80,000 because he kept on making phone calls. Yes, the next set of money was a little bit harder to get because he already got the first three, three and three. By the end of the week, he made 15 phone calls, got $80,000 with seven programs approved. That shows the effort. If someone thinks to the future and doesn't grab the check right now, it deeply worries me because that's not financial independence. Number two, of these three checks, you all qualify for these three checks. There's only two equations in which you may not qualify for these three checks. One, you're homeless, or two, you make too much money. Otherwise, you qualify for it. And what's important to understand is that I've been doing this for two years. I've been doing this for two years as the channel approaches its two-year anniversary on April 25th, 2022. Day one, there are people saying, I don't qualify. Day two, there are people saying, I don't qualify. Today, there will be people saying, I don't qualify. The translation for that is, you do, you just don't want to really go get it. What's important to understand is that when a video is airing, and this is another point I want to make, when a video is airing, you see a recording, and the purpose of the recording is to impart that information to you. So listen to the one-hour broadcast. Throughout the one-hour broadcast, your questions will be answered, as Gail was doing such a great job last night in the live chat, where people were asking a question only two minutes of the video. She said, stay with Ella. It's coming up. It's coming up. He'll explain it to you. Stay with him. And ultimately, it'll be explained. However... At the same time, some people are not listening to Gail or listening to me and saying, can you explain to me something that's coming up late in this video before it airs? No. The purpose of the video is to watch it. The videos are written and done and orchestrated based upon your questions and comments every day, every hour. So if you have a question, it's embodied the answer into the video. What's important in this equation is the call and response. Some people sometimes jump in the live chat and say something like, can someone explain to me this? And this morning, shortly before sunrise, someone said this blanketing statement. Well, in Georgia, there's no money, so don't apply. You know how hurtful that is? Do you know how damaging that is? 
I have a lot of viewers in Georgia. And if someone had seen that comment before I deleted it, and if it sat there for hours or days or even a half an hour, then there may be other people in that state that would have seen it and not applied. When you post incorrect factual statements that there's no money, that the income qualifications are different, that the program is closed, that the program in this state is different than the in the other state, that it's this, that it's that, all wrong information, guess what you're doing? You're hurting other people. Please don't do it. You're not helping. You're hurting people. You're hurting people in a very bad way. Because what happens is that someone may be in your state, see that wrong information, not apply. Moreover, someone who's in another state and sees that information may think, I'm just not going to apply. I heard bad news about Georgia. Maybe it's bad news in my state. Take away, there is no bad news in Georgia. That person had wrong information and the viewer was trying to help someone else with wrong information. Don't do it. Don't lean on other viewers to help give you answers to things that are answered in the video. Rely on the video, rely on the application, and that is it. Between me and the application, everything is answered. So if you're in the live chat and say, does anyone know if mobile homes qualify for the weatherizing your grant in the state of Alaska? Uh, there's nothing available in Alaska. It's all frozen over. It's been frozen over for 20 years. Mm -hmm. Don't listen to the comments in the live chat, <laughs> even though that may be a funny one. <laughs> Don't listen to the comments in the live chat. Don't use the live chat as your source for information. Use the video for the source of information. Finally, I think it's obvious, but sometimes I gotta tell you, you can always replay the video. Go under the video and toggle the video back, pull it back, and it'll replay the section. So if you say, did I misunderstand that? Or I need to hear that again. Replay the video. That is how you learn. These are educational videos. And the purpose of the education is for you to get the money. Tonight on Eni's LA, we have a lot of money, and so stay with me tonight. Remember, if you're in the live chat, do not post incorrect information like there's no money, they don't care, it's late, I, uh, it's only in certain states, it's closed, it's different eligibility, it's this, it's that. There's something different about it. UFOs only qualify, and then if you have 15 earlobes, then you qualify. The waiting list is really long unless you can hymn a song with your tongue crossed. Please don't do that. <laughs> it may be very funny, but please don't do that because it really does not help other people. And with that, tonight, Evening Dollar has a lot of breaking news with those big checks. For now, I want you to get those big checks. And there you are for today. Remember, my job is to get every check that's available. And tomorrow, there could be another check. These checks are brand new. March 31st, a $6,500 weatherizing grant check became law. Go get it today. Get your application on file, as other viewers have as well. A $15,000 to $80,000 check. Viewers have gotten these checks, $66,000, $80,000. They're averaging on. It's been lost since March 4th. Go get it today. It's running out. Then, those MSC checks, $2,000 a month for 12 months. Go get it today. Don't wait. You want to become a member. The membership is linked at the top of the chat and in the pinned comments. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Get that membership newsletter delivered to you Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Delivered via the YouTube alerts. Make sure you sign up for the alerts by going to the front of the channel, hitting the subscribe button. Set all alerts on the bell at the front of this channel. Hit that bell and sign, hit them all to all alerts. Not personalized, but make sure the bell is to all alerts. And with that, have a beautiful day. The toast was toasting this morning, and by lunchtime, the surf was surfing, and by tomorrow, the heat will be heating. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't get too hot. Stay informed, stay focused. I'll see you tonight on Eans in LA at 5 o'clock.